you're depending on what you do, you're probably most likely looking at Luxord or a uh, hundred acre. Well, I guess hundred acre in these settings is any stuff that I'm thinking of uh, worlds where you can just do something else. So yeah, I'm thinking most of these are thinking either just Luxord or hundred acre again, because hundred acre you do have to find all the pages. Luxord That's is just true. kind of a annoying fight. You <clears throat> gotta get the timing right for him. And sometimes, even with a pause buffer, that just just doesn't want to work. Oh, looks like we're getting underway now. We are indeed. Tech issues mostly sorted out. Yeah, it looks like for now, Ninten is just going to do an offline until hopefully his stream comes back on if I'm looking at it right. Yes, indeed. So we shall see if uh, he does come back. What did we start with? Identity disk. So we have access to Lark scene right away. Yeah, so... Early access to Lark Seed, so it's one of those world unlocks you don't have to find, so it's generally a nice thing to see, especially early on. And we started with a negative combo. So we could potentially have double neg if they can find it early enough, but we'll see. What do we got? Picture Proud Fing Battlefields. Oh, thank you, Dewey. You godsend. Dewey knows the tech. Yeah. So, he knows. You know, so, well, you said picture. Oh, and a bone fist radius. So we have access to what four goals right off the so right off the bat. We have Vexen, Zexian, Cyax, and Larxine. Yeah, yeah. I have access to four goals radius. So that's really nice to not have to go find a bunch of world unlocks. Obviously, with these settings, you already have the three in there, but you could just end up getting like picture and ice cream, and then you need to even have a goal unlock. But we didn't get that here. Uh, right. <laughs> Riding with his TT push. Yeah, the I don't want to go Pride Lance push. Same with CJ. CJ also CJ, not going yeah, to Pride Lance. CJ. So the shenanigans begin already. <clears throat> oh, it's, of course. And we and, pick um, up a Sword of the Ancestor. <laughs> okay. Yeah, poor, yeah. I will also clarify for the stream, we do have, and we will show, all the other racers' perspectives. Yeah, just for, just for this final there? one, there were five asyncs, so only five. seven live racers. But we will show all twelve, if I can. Dear god. We'll, uh, we'll pace them as they go along, but they should roughly all show up. You should see from everyone's perspective where they're at. I tried to render a video, and my video editor was like, haha, nope, you're not gonna get that to work. So I had to Not literally today. stream to a dummy account the recording oh. <laughs> of all four god. streams happening at once, just so that I can get it for this uh, this race. Oh god! Oh, so I literally couldn't use my computer for two hours. It was great. Beautiful. We do see a torn page in very early, like Tram Commons TT. Yeah, I think it was one... right. <laughs> oh, I think it was like literally the third chest in Tramcom, so obviously a nice pull then... because yeah, it's going towards your hundred acre goal. But we don't know how many or how deep any of the pages are going to be. It could just be locked behind dead worlds, could be. super deep that you just don't even want to do. Other than that, looking at the Pride Lands, have seen anything come out of it other than just the Bone Fist? Yeah, and that was like that first goal. three chests, too. Yeah, it leads towards the goal, which is like the biggest thing. Yes. And a blizzard. Oh, so, okay. Okay, that's good. So we already have technically access to Larxian and Zexian. It's not Zexian, Vexen. And Vex. One. Well, we have yeah. we have Zexian, too, because of the shop. Yeah, and in the shop. Psyx. You'll probably do Zexian as well. It's not that bad to just spend the money to get wow. it. I don't know, Raiden, Raiden doesn't seem to like OC a whole lot, so maybe that's what he's, he's going to say. And he's already doing the Piglet minigame, too. Like it, makes it, make, it makes sense. Obviously, you found the page, so you're just going to keep working towards that until you find pages are just somewhere in a certain location. Yeah, and like the one quick progression point this early is very nice. Where's he head to next? Only tap, okay. Uh oh, do we buff? There we go. Uh oh. 
Zach is. Yeah, ah, is... Zach was in auto tracking. That's unfortunate for Zach. Oh, um, it's very strange. So he will lose out on one progression point. Thanks. Luckily enough, he caught that early, so not going to lose too much off that, but still a little annoying. Right, indeed. Get to see our first dive into Agarba. We got CJ and OC. Starting with Glide 2 makes this a little bit of an easier choice to do, because trying to go down that on Glide 1 just feels painful. Yeah, any of, the, any of these worlds, it's just like the long hallways, especially, you know, OC, uh, Twilight Town, and even a little bit of uh, Halloween Town. It just makes the, the glide just do it so much faster. It's not the worst thing. Oh. It's like we did pick this... up Genie. Yeah. And a fire. Some nice stuff. Halloween Hopefully town. this lack of uh, progression point from Zach, though, won't bother him too much. Super, no. super awkward oh, that it uh, bugged out for him. Second chance. A second chance as well. Wisdom form in Agarba. Right outside of the uh, walls. That's real nice. <clears throat> Sadly, forms not on this card. But yeah, but forms could always lock stuff. They could have pages. They can have other forms. They can have visit unlocks. Tools. So it's always good yeah. to keep track of them. Yeah. Access to progression points as well. Yeah, once you pick up three form, and then even just get picking having the option to force final if you find light and darkness or. If you unfortunately have to hard force it. But having final form for a lot of these fights is helpful. Let's see if Abu is hiding anything here. We picked up our first world hint. We did! Disney Castle! Doesn't. Has Promise Charm, Reflect, and Cure. Right, without a Marley or Terra on the card, it's very hard to justify pushing into Timeless River at all. And especially if yeah. you don't need any of those things. It does like, suck. You could push for Reflect, potentially, if you yeah. are absolutely yeah. desperate. <clears throat> I, did see on Zach's, I did see on Zach's stream that uh, we, they did pick up Flare Force pretty early, just on level, so... Having access to that limit for Donald gonna make a lot of these fights just trivial. And the stats are looking pretty good for level 9. We got... It looks about the same for everybody. <clears throat> like Raiden's on 11 at 21-22, so... Stats are looking pretty decent right now. Let's hope they stay that way for the later on portion of this. We did pick up a chicken in the first four of The World That Never Was as well. Are we seeing... All right, so oh! Opt, opt in to do rocks straight away. Like yeah, reason. the oh. lack of progression points really getting to him. This is a two yeah. easy points. Now, unfortunately, it does cost two minutes, but honestly, it I think it's potentially worth a trade-off for the the fact I that you've already just lost so. one point. Right. Like, Zach, Zach always seems to find a way to bounce back from some unfortunate situations, so... It's, oh, I like it. I was about to ask, is Dewey pushing up to the station fights? Yeah, no, he's a, sta he's a stake in the route where you mm -hmm. exit through the sand lot. Ooh, Zach taking unfortunate death. He's gonna, I believe, go back to pick up chicken in the first chest. Always nice. And that grand ribbon. Some good armor. We are seeing Raiden push into TR, though. I mean, I guess this is, you know, two free progression points just to do Tugboat Pete. Why do I keep calling him that? 
questioning my I think, own. I think you're the words. only one I've heard ever called him that. I. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard him called. Well, that. I mean, that's what he is. No, you're right. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's the classic Pete. Old Pete. It just sounds good to me. It makes my brain tingle the right things. Let's see if we can pick up this reflect. The promise charm could be a nice pickup if we find all the proofs as well, because it gives them access to a good leveling spot. Oh, I missed that. There was explosion on Rampart. Explosion. Yep. Oh, that's a, that's a very nice pickup. Man, they have so many good tools. Explosion, negative combo, second chance, Fire finishing, an extra finishing plus, good keys. Those are all pretty solid. Yeah, you got B charge on a key. Some good accessories too, like... <clears throat> okay, oh, Raiden pushing... picks up a cure and doesn't get the Reflector Promise Charm, so that's a little unfortunate. Oh, we still got two more chests because he did not grab the ones at quarters from Hell yet. So we can hope. Oh no. Okay, oh, well, oh. <laughs> that's that's an okay consolation. Yeah. Like, it's not the obviously that... a reflect. Right. It's a good consolation, though. We have actually seen people use Promise Drum Room quite a bit in these settings. If you're just a tiny bit short of stats, or if you get all three proofs early, sometimes you'll just want to do that so you can be super buff for the mid-game content. Can do you make an early push into PR, which, I mean, Luxord is a goal, so this makes a lot of sense. I also have an access to Blizzard and then the negative uh, explosion. We'll make a lot of these fights go by really quick. And one thing to sort of consider with these settings is you're likely not going to skip some of the easier goals. Oh. Also, fun pickup for Zach. Oh my god. Membership card and reflect on Roxas. That's actually a huge pickup for Zach. He does get his first hint finally, but. Membership card reflect. Yeah. He does get the reflect he wants. And he now has access to Sefi. So it's. And. At, having access to HP2 is kind of nice because you can get some good progression points if you can get through core fights. Yeah, especially especially that early, and obviously skips are on, so if we can get enough movements, we can just do core skip. But yeah, having access to Hollow Bastion 2 this early, that's that, that's uh, going to be huge because you just get to the bulk of your checks. Yeah. And like he now has quick access here to these Lancers, which can give him some good experience as well. Especially having that Reflect. Ooh. Oh, look at those levels. They just piled Ooh. in immediately. All the way to 12 from, I think, 4. So, like, that was... We got to 14. Yeah, like, that's gonna be nice. A nice way to get himself back into this and back into the groove. Oh, I missed that. There was Aerial Spiral and Space Paranoids, first room, or second room, Canyon. Super solid. Yeah. So the, the tools are definitely flowing in pretty nicely. We see CJ finally taking the dive into Pride Lands. One thing to actually legitimately consider for why not starting Pride Lands is the fact that you can get your levels in Halloween Town, and technically, uh, Psyx is not necessarily something you can do. You can potentially skip it if you get lucky. So that might have been something for CJ. I will say that yeah. with Proud Fang being in the shop, probably not. Yeah, <laughs> you probably not. Probably never skip it. You'd have to have some really, really like early pages or something in other worlds, or like the pages have to be like late in goal worlds that are not Pride Lands yeah, itself. Like late BC, late SP, like. It, it's so hard to try to formulate a perfect plan this early in the games, it seems. <laughs> kind of just scrambling to figure out stuff on the fly. 
a lot of these settings, people will just uh, have to alter their routes super, super late because they just get one thing that makes them completely change their mind. We do see the second world revealed on Raiden's screen, showing Pride Lands. So we will probably go back there. Here. It's honestly okay. I feel like Raiden will go back to Pride Lands. He'll it is an easy bone fist. <laughs> I think for now we can uh, we can take a peek over at uh, our four four of our five asyncs. Really quick swap over. We have in the top left Metaios. In the top right we have Rural Romania. Bottom left we have Mega Slim, and in the bottom right we have Spike Vegeta. We see has picked up an ice cream of. Thunder and a Reflect in BC? That's, uh... Yeah, Spike, uh, Spike really likes to do early goal pushes. Or not early goal, but like... Early uh, like, second half visits of Worlds. Yeah. So he'll often do yep. OC1, or the rest of the OC1, uh, before some other shotguns. So, for, for example, he's did all of Beast Castle, even in Darkthorn. And he got rewarded. He got final, a thunder. Really good defense oh, tools. It's final. You... Yeah. Oh, oh it's no. final, final yeah. form. That's uh that's pretty good. Meanwhile, that that's really uh, good. annoying for Slim on the bottom left here. Slim is forcing final. Oh no. Now granted, must... it's it's a fair gamble with the logic, slightly hard item placement, pushing your forms potentially later. Light and dark also being pushed potentially later. Right. And this is an interesting push from Roro going to tower before having anything just kind of took the death abuse at the station fight. Not seeing much outside of the sort of the ancestor in the torn page. All right, Spike does finally get the final form, or sorry, oh, use his final form here. Never mind. Interesting yeah. choice. I mean, it's... Oh, actually, that's insane damage. Never mind. Spike's so smart. Yeah. Was that, was that like... He's too smart. We can't... 30 oh. magic? Oh, boy. That's a hint. Torn pages on dry forms. Let's go. That's a lot of magic. That is, that is true, chat. Is... Their stats are actually pretty okay overall. I'm looking at Roro's screen top right and it just in final form with a single key. 29 magic. So Roro is oh, he's pushing. He's in wisdom, w wisdom form. Wisdom yeah, it's form. the one key blade, That's... though. Yeah, yeah. The stats do not change when you go into a single form key or a single key form. There we go. English is hard. Slim does finally get his final form after forcing it, and Spike is actually just going to go straight yep. to Prison Keeper again. He likes to go after the big bulk progression points, and you get literally four progression points from doing Prison Keeper plus Ogi. And because he has Bone yeah. Fist, he can go straight to right before Experiment, and that's another two progression points. This is Spike is the is the man for hit list though. Like this is what he loves to play when he does Kingdom Hearts Rando. Oh, we're seeing an HB push finally. We pick up a magnet right before Bailey fight. That's kind of really nice to pick up right before that fight. Yeah, so, solid solid pickup. Spike's almost through Prison Keeper. That's that sure. And Roro just leaving before the minute fight. I think it's a bit fair. Potentially want to still yeah. try to see if you can get XP boost at some point. Yeah, it makes sense. Let's see if Spike goes right to Ugi, which I'm sure he will. I think he loves. Yeah, if you're already this far, you, you'll just go complete the first one. But... Yeah. Like Geek was saying, like it, he loves to push those 
big bolt progressions, which is... But spoiler hints, it's nice to have, because that you start seeing more and more, so you get that information really early on. So, like, after this, he'll have his fourth world revealed. Yeah, he's ahead of Slim on the bottom left. Slim, we know, got first in the open qualifiers, so... We'll see if that hint lead helps. We see that up to Wisdom 4, we haven't found anything. Granted, there's only two things, which... Is that ma is that a magnet on the other thing on Drag Forms? Uh, yeah, magnet's the other. Okay. I just need to make this full screen. My eyes do not want to work for me today. Oh yeah, that made it such a big difference. So much easier to see now. <laughs> Spike about to get the next set of world reveals. Oh no. Yeah, unfortunately, both Jack and Donald are down, so we couldn't just use uh, a limit to make the fight faster, but. Oh! Yeah, Twilight Town was revealed there, so Page, Magnet. And Beast Claw. Claw and. The Sword of the Ancestor. Sword of the Ancestor. We know up to Tower, we find Sword and Torn Page, so there's still a Beast Claw in there. This technically but, does actually make TT required, because it technically sort of lo it locks two goals. It does. Apparently. So at some point they will need to either... They, I mean, you do have the Torn Page, so technically you don't have to do the rest of TT if you find the other pages. But Beast Claw... You don't have to search- if you just find the Beast Claw, you don't have to search other pages. Like, if you find a picture, you already know where Ice Cream is if you push Beast Castle. So then, you would just have to only push for Beast Claw, and that's another goal immediately ready, versus four other pages, oh. which you might have to gamble on finding. Right. We're gonna see a very upset Slim here. In a bit, I feel. Yeah, sometimes you do play the gamble, sometimes it goes in your favor, sometimes not. Uh, funny also is that uh, <laughs> Slim and Met are doing pretty much similar content at this time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and based off of everybody's tracker here, we know where all the magnets are, so we have the one in Hall of Bastion, and then still looking for the one on Drives and the one in Twilight Town. But they know they'll have access to Magnaga. Yeah, and like you already have picture in the shop, and you found ice cream and bees, so like TT three is fully open for you to go quickly get a bees claw. It's a good leveling spot as well. Yeah. So Spike just still doesn't have a reflect, which is a little bit annoying. You can see he has not pushed into DC, even the courtyard. So a little odd. Haven't he hasn't uh, shotgunned it at least, but I wouldn't expect Spike to go with two Thomas River. No, I expect him just to get up to the mouse, and that's it. Guess we'll get to see where how deep this final form is, if it's on Darkthorn or not. Okay, Ruru also going to Beast Castle as well. Beast. There it is, right before Beast Room is final form. So just within the shotgun of Beast Castle. It's a very generous spot. Very agree. Yeah, I've not on Darkthorn, so you can at least use the limit for or final form for the fight. Make, make it a lot faster. Well, Spike did do Darkthorn indeed, Tibbs. So, I'm sure Slim is a little upset finding that final form kind of early after forcing final in Agrabah, but these are kind of just the risks you take when 
You decide to push that. He honestly had an okay force. It wasn't bad. It was like roughly no. about what you expect. It's not a huge time loss, but I'm sure he'll find a way to make it up quickly. We see Met going up to the station fight now. Now that he has final form, get some final form levels. see from spikes and final four did not have any either of the torn page or the magma either the uh, question is does he go to the top of yet and Sid's tapper Knowing that Beast Claw is there and you do have access to TT3, I could see them making the push. Because you don't really need too much. I feel like you should push it. It's, it's one of the goals you can at least guarantee access to. So might as right. well work towards that versus gambling on anything yep, else. I think the mindset still is you still don't do page, do you don't do hundred acre until you like see more pages revealed early enough. Yeah. Or you stumble into them. We know of what three of them. I think. Um. Thought we found one in a different shotgun, unless I'm thinking of just TT over again. So far, what we've seen, we only know of these two, I think. Oh, uh, Yeah, it's just the two <clears throat> that we know okay. about. So we'll see as time goes on if something else kind of rears its head around. Wisdom for making quick work of these tower fights. We're seeing Met just lead. Oh, Met doesn't have the hint yet. That's right, that's hint number four. Alright, Yen Sid. Are you the homie? It never there is. Nah, you're never gonna find anything there. You're going to Twilight Town, oh. you're going to Mansion. Yeah. One boost on Darkthorn could come in handy. And now we're seeing Spike dive into ER. Oh, well, let's see, see the, both him and... Oh, I forget who's the bottom left again. Mega Slim. Mega Slim. Mega Slim. So yeah, both of them are doing uh, ER. Makes sense. You don't really have too much information or really that much uh, skills or abilities to kind of push anything like OC or even... LOD, even though LOD is not acquired. The only other thing you could really just blindly push would be the well that never was, just for progression points. So it, it's a fairly safe play right now. All right, we can take a little bit of time to swap over to some other of our racers. Our last so that yeah, that is a uh, Ragnoth on top right. Ninten still having a bit of network issues. He is doing a local record, so we will be able to verify everything that he does. Hopefully, his network uh, picks back up at some point. Sometimes networks oh. will just give issues for a bit. 
until then. And l- let's look at Wompy. He's gone to Barbosa, and he's found limit form. That's uh, pretty solid. That's 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 a choice that's been made, and it's paid off. That is huge. And without skill and crossbones, it definitely is a tiny bit of a gamble. You're very likely still going to find skill and crossbones anyway. So I think it's fine to push that far. We also do see, we did see that uh, two of our other racers, was it Spike, Slim, and now Ragnoth, are also pushing it. I believe some of our other live racers have also potentially pushed farther into S, or sorry, PR as well. Now we got him through Dark Thorn. And he does get that TT reveal, finally. Maybe that'll <laughs> entice him to push into that for Beast Claw. You're already done Dark Thorn, so I think at this point you're kind of committing to doing Zelda in a little bit. Oh, yeah. Might like as well. If he... <clears throat> and with where he's at, if he pushes to the top of Yensid's Tower, he'll get to the next world with the two points here, and then... Is it Station gives one, and then Yensid's Tower gives one? Okay, well, I'll be actually doing the Halloween Town push. Got access to Vex and you got some. I got some good stats going. 31, 34, 21. Yeah, actually, honestly, okay. you probably could go to Vex and. <clears throat> Wouldn't be that bad. I believe his ceiling is around 40, if I'm not mistaken. So you're you're getting pretty damn close, especially in final yeah. form when you have the extra key damage or the key stats. It like, might just push you over we, enough to do better. We might see Walpy honestly do that because it's something he's been doing a lot lately is just kind of pushing those goals early for those quick progression points because you get, what, four from... I think it's four from doing Vexen. Uh, three, I believe. Three. He's kind of free. Oh, I mean, he gets his next world now, which shows 100 Acre has Hand Blizzard and Proof of Non-Existence, so nothing of huge note in hiding in 100 Acre. That is Pan, though. Pan does give you access to one chi strat for data Psyx. I don't think we've seen any yeah. sight of the other negative combo. So you can yeah. hold out as much as you can if you want to see that other negative combo, potentially for that chi strat. Well, and they also do have aerial spiral, so it really kind of ins- is nice to have Pan available for Psyx. Ooh, Jack dies immediately for Ragnarok. Oh, it's super unfortunate. That's... It just happens when you get a bad Illuminator placement. Can't really do too much about that. Is that what that thing is called? Illuminator? Yep. Okay. I learned something yeah. new every single time I join you, Geek. It's a very strange name, but it makes sense. His tail, uh... He has glowing eyes. It's... When you kill him, he illuminates the room, I guess. I don't know. Ragnar's gonna try to get a cheeky form level here. Oh, unfortunately gets the, the baby shot. Okay, and Ragnar does the HB1 shotgun now.
curious if Walpy actually does do the rest. Okay, he does. Yeah, it makes sense. You're you're that cool stat wise. You should have a you also, good time. Uh, you do also have duck flare, so that can just make experiment pretty trivial. Right. Yeah. And I will push him right into his again getting those progression points, getting those world reveals for him, which is honestly just so nice to have. One of the big changes of this hint system compared to how hitless used to be done. Hitless used to be done with the points hint system, where every world had this uh, point reveal shown to you at the beginning. The main takeaway from having things turn to progression is that you actually can just lean more into, hey, let me just do the super boss super early so I can get some nice bulk progression versus, oh, I know this ha super boss has nothing or it has something I don't really care about. Let me do him right. way later and push him off. Yeah. It incentivizes to work around, do I want to do these fights earlier? Do I want to do them later? Am I comfortable enough? Should I get my progression points now? It's more, uh, more interesting of gameplay, for sure. This is what, BD in the bottom left, right? Yep, that is BD Bonk. That is his cat. BD Bonk. This kitty cat with the rainbow. See him also pushing into Halloween Town 2. And it's like, he'll actually get the next world here. Oh no, that's Hundred Acre. Never mind. And Walpy will get the next set of world reveals, I believe. I think Spike also might be ahead. But you'll get to see it from Walpy's perspective fairly shortly. And again, apologies for uh, not being able to show Nintendo's perspective. Sounding a bit of network issues. Our next world reveal is Agraba. It is, it is just Wisdom and Stitch, so it's dead. Oh, and he got the important one out of there. He is. That is true. Before we address Walpy, Walpy's fight here, uh, Ragnarok does pick up the magnet off of Final Five, so that's really nice. Yeah, already Magnera, super early on. You might, you'll probably get the magnet here in Twilight Town, so it should be pretty, pretty chill for Ragnarok. Yeah, we oh. might see him. Mm, unfortunate. Oof, very unfortunate. Going right back in, though. What a trooper. Experiment is just one of those fights that's sometimes just a pain. Yeah, reminder, that actually, that we have not seen anyone get a reflect except for Zack from doing Roxas. A lot of these guys yes. are still reflectless. <laughs> So, it's a pretty awkward situation for a lot of them. Baby impact. Oh, going right back into it. There we go. Getting the beat Ooh. down on experiment now. Careful, Walpy. Oh, combo master. Ooh, com off of that. That's real nice. All right, broke him out. Just that left. Okay, Walpy Ooh, should get the kill. Nice. Very there nice. There we go. Wow! Gets. Experience boost? That's uh... <laughs> it's a pretty geek. brutal location, but yes. hey, <laughs> you have XP boost now for Larxene. <laughs> or sorry, for SP, so then you can go all the way to Larxene. So that's true. Uh, you might see Walpy do that oh, soon. I like this choice as well from Walpy. One thing you can take advantage of these seeds is, okay, I'm gonna go do SP at some point. I can potentially try to get my levels elsewhere so that I can maximize how much I get from screens itself. Yeah. So the later you XP boost, potentially the more mileage you'll get out of it. You just need to struggle with figuring out how do I get those higher levels before I even get to screens. Walpy's gotten some decent levels just from what he's been doing. Like, the Pirates, I'm sure, gave a decent amount. Ooh, BD is actually just going to go straight back in. I think I like the choice. We're seeing a Vexen right away. Final. 
You should be fine. Final duck player. Not having their flex a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Just gonna duck flare. Immediately probably immediately pop final and fire, I'm assuming. Ooh, okay, Ooh, that's unfortunate. Someone's gonna come having, out now. <clears throat> not having the fire. Oh, oh. And takes a death. Man. Oh? Huh? You quickly selling the house. <laughs> all of this. Yo, he has a nice amount of money. Oh! Picking up the picture so we can go to TT2. Yeah, I gave the fight one try. I respect it. He should be able to get some decent levels if he pushes all the way. I, I think in this case, you kind of want the Beast Claw to be as late as possible, just so you can at least like have an excuse of, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go to Mansion and level, because Beast Claw's here as well. Yeah, you, you don't want to see that early. It's a little Among Us chicken. <laughs> yeah, chicken, really good tool to go through the tower. If you don't care about leveling your Wisdom Farm, which BD, being at max level, doesn't need to level it. It's the best tool. It pulls shadows pretty much instantly in. The only situation it doesn't necessarily is that first, or the shadows in these fights. Two of them don't get pulled in, the other two can. Yeah, but it has, it has access to the magnet so it can get the other pull in if, when they pop up back out. Yeah, we're seeing Walpy doing the same thing here. Ooh! We are seeing an OC push from Ragnoth now, too. Yeah, Ragnoth actually being one of the few who's, uh, as well as BD, who are kind enough to mark off which goals they're thinking about doing. So, so far, Ragnoth isn't sure between, or doesn't immediately have access between Cephi, obviously Hundred Acre, and Port Royal. But every other goal he has access to, so he's like, okay, cool, I'm gonna go for them. Like, technically he doesn't have Beast Claw, but he technically can get it, so that's why Zaldin is it's marked. Available. Yeah, it is rightly, rightfully available. And we're seeing BD push into TT2 now. So BD is going for that Beast Claw. Oh, trying to take a hit. There we go. Get some experience boosting going. There we go. A reminder, he still doesn't have a reflect, so it's a uh, has to be a little bit careful. <laughs> but he's got Magnera. Oh, he gets a hit there. Thankfully, he has second chance, so he doesn't die. Oh, Walpy's going in on Vexen. Oh, he has no ethers. Oh. He has only one single ether. Chucks all his money at it, and then the rest. Sorry, chucks one at the picture, then the rest. At this. Makes sense. Yeah. So Walpy will go. also probably go for Beast's Claw. Oh, Walpy, go for the Mega Duck Flirt. Oh, bold choice not to. See if it pays off. Yeah, he word. will need to throw an ether at some point. He shouldn't break out. Oh, he does break out. Okay, it's oh, a he does awkward. break out. But right back into the Mega Duck player. Oh, bring the shield back up again. Shield. There we go. There we go. Oh, we find skill and crossbones actually Hell level 23. Yeah. Go Wolpy, we get all the way to seven. What do we got? It's OC good. has been revealed. Has Blizzard proven peace? Awesome. Still no sign of this beast claw here in TT. If it's in the mansion, that's your best case scenario, honestly, still. It really is. We'll probably see, if that happens, we'll probably see BD do some le quick leveling. Pragnoth finds a glide in OC right before the Demix fight. 
And again, there is that- it was on level 23, Skull and Crossbones, so we do now have relatively easy access to Luxord. All these racers will probably reach that level, and we'll see how- I don't see a world where they don't in these settings. It's, uh, it seems pretty hard to be that low level. <laughs> like, but on no experience in meme. <laughs> I mean, we already see Walpy and Ragnar both sitting at 22, so they're just one level off of getting that skill and crossbones. Oh, can you take a sniper shot, BD? Oh, yeah, you can. Yeah, he's got the one. He uh, got oh, smacked yeah, by the like a sniper's six, six, six. gun, actually. Okay, Walpy using wisdom to level here. He gets that skill and crossbone there. So, well, at least for BD, getting once you get here, like even if you get the Beast Claw off of this fight, I think you're okay pushing TT3. Master oh, that's off 32. Warm. That's a really nice pickup as well. So that's super early on levels, relatively speaking. Yeah. It's level 33 now. We still... Walpy gets that, so it's a level 32 Master Form. Oh, Walpy having a bit of a bit of trouble here trying to get hit. Needs one oh, more. Oh, he's perfect. There okay, go. he's got it. Yeah. So depending on yeah, if... level and oh, now he can get to level six and he's getting so many easy progression. And we see Hollow Bastion has the has two torn pages <laughs> and the last magnet that we knew of. Yeah, so we're only missing one page. Only one is unknown. I mean, if it does happen to be hinted in uh, LOD, having that master will be nice to do the throne room skip. Yeah. And we're through Hydro with Ragnar. I feel Walpy's... like you would just do the rest of the visit of OC. That's the Blizzard too, yeah. Oh, it goes back to Twilight Town. Okay. I like it. Can I finish off your visit? Go for that Beast Claw. I wonder if oh, Ragnoth has the... Uh, I wonder if he has Battlefields of War. I know sometimes Ragnoth will drag the items over, so maybe he doesn't have it, which is why. Ooh, that could be. Not sh don't think I've seen them pick it up. It's the skill and crossbones, so now he knows. There you go. Mark him off. Lux is ready to go. So, I mean, if if Ragnoth just goes and fights Roxas, he's he's pretty much in go mode. He will indeed be. Well, we'll see what he's up to in a bit. I think we'll swap over to our oh. original set of racers. Uh, just before you did switch, we did find the torn page on uh, Master Drives three. Master Three. Mm. It's fairly early. I know, I believe, some other people may have gotten that. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so Zach does have that page, we can see. He did it on auto. That's actually, yeah, ex actually Oh, true. and we can see that he's pushed up to dancers and he's found those two torn pages. Yeah, he did enter core. Uh, you can, there's a little tiny symbol for the valve. So we did do core skip and did find those pages, as you mentioned. Doesn't have HP hinted, so he just got fairly lucky. And now, just because of this, I feel like you're pretty much committed to doing 100 Acre. He's already actually pushed the spooky. He doesn't have Pan, so Pan will be on Starry Hill. But yeah. at least means he has cheese access to Data Sykes. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, pretty he comforting just to know to find... you don't have to work too hard. He just has to find this last torn page, which we don't know where it's at quite yet. Yeah, now if you're in Zach's shoes, if you're committing to 100 Acre, what are you skipping out on? Um... Are you just dropping Sephi? I feel like you would do Seth. Well, oh, potentially. He, if you don't have... He might have drop Zaldin. Because he hasn't really gone deep into TT. Yeah, you could... That's probably the better one to drop. Absolutely.
you're also right, Sonic. He has not gone into Beast Castle. So that does mean he did Raw Force Final. I think in theory that he might be fine. Like the time investment and everything and whatnot still offsets each other. Yeah. Okay. Like we see he's got like these stats definitely kept up, thankfully. So the thing is, Pepperoni, Zach does have the membership card. He has found it. So he's probably skipping Zaldin. Yeah, the lovely Roxas decided to give both the uh, money power, Reflect. sorry, the Reflects and membership card, same time. Still unhinted, by the way. So it's a pretty good pickup for, for Zach right here. Uh-oh. Um, uh oh, Zach's getting trolled by checking a little bit. Yeah, hopefully he shouldn't die here. <clears throat> There's a chance he would have died, potentially, if he got hit a second time. Yeah. He doesn't have once more, only second chance. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't once more. Oh, that was an HB. Oh, he would have been. He would have lived then. Easy. Easy peasy. And now we get the Duck Flare. There we go. And down goes that. He gets that experience boost. <laughs> <laughs> he does not seem too uh, too happy about he that. Was not not thrilled about <laughs> that one. Kind of a CJ moment of, of also course getting it's here. it. Down on the bottom right, Raiden probably also will <laughs> go for it too. I just realized Raiden's using the OLED <laughs> Oh, Zach is in the world that never was again, unhinted. Oh. I mean, this this seems like a fine play from Zax to try to. I think like, it's a it's a bit of a gamble. It it's, is it's definitely a gamble. But like, like, this is really good progression points. Yeah, that's 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 just the one trade off. It's a gamble, but you're gonna get some decent progression points. So we'll see what gets hinted after they're done here. Hopefully, he, uh, right away. hopefully for Zank you get something out of this. I think the biggest thing you want you're gonna get out of this is another XP boost, better movement, I don't know, another finisher, or like the, uh, the final page. Front page. Yeah. Those are the only things that you're likely to get out of this world that will actually matter. Okay, Zach is trying to go for a late room transition here. Or are gonna try to go for a blue laser action loop. Okay, it's just gonna be a little bit off. Okay, I think he's given up. So he will fall out of final here. Does he get DM'd? Oh, he gets lucky! Mm -hmm. Oh, very oh, nice! nice. Yeah, that Very was actually nice. luck. He could have gone. He could have gone DM'd. Yeah, super, super lucky on Zach. Or there, more but... so luck. All right, give Zach the torn page after that. Just give it to him. Yeah. Make this push worth his while. Okay, CJ might be through with Vex in here. Does retaliate. Oh, Donald! Donald's alive! Okay, that's amazing. That's crazy. Alright. There we go. Very nice for CJ. Does get her HB hints. Oh. I missed this, but on the top right, actually, from Double A Dewey, they do have the world reveal, and the world reveal oh, actually does yeah. have the last torn page. So oh, that is that, that is, is for so huge nine. for Zach. Is that, is that seven? I think that's seven. Actually, I think that's nine. Six. No, oh, for, no, uh, no that's for nine. Dewey. That's nine. Yeah, it's nine. That's okay. Nine. So Zach is at six. He's doing this unhinted. He's gonna get rewarded. Also, a bunch of progression this, points that, too. This is such a payoff. 
it, it's honestly so huge for him because now he like he hasn't touched TT3 where a lot of these people have gone to TT3 for Beast Claw. So Zach, like Zach, will have everything. Well, say everything. He has all the stuff he needs to go to his goals. Once he finds this torn page in here. He also does have XP boost, so you can just level, and you should be relatively fine for all the bosses. Mm. Now, the one downside for Zack is, in case he's short, he doesn't have access to Promise Charm Room, he doesn't have access to the one of was leveling, but he might- sorry, not the one of was, uh, TT leveling, like other racers, but he'll have the yeah. world never was as a leveling alternative. Ooh, unfortunate death for Dewey on the top right. Trying to not cheese the fight. You have good enough stats to do it, but you are reflectless if you are Dewey. Zach taking the minigame there just to get some health back. Playing with fire for a, a good while in the Luxord fight. Sometimes you got it with this man. Alright, so that is DM. He's Zach opting to DM. take it. Yeah, they haven't pushed PR, so they don't have that limit form. Oh, I missed this, but Raiden, in our bottom right here, is already on Hostile Program. They did not do screens leveling. They didn't do, uh... <laughs> they did have the XP boost from Experiment. I think they just opted to not do it and just go uh, go at level one. Yo, Marlin, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everyone. Now, now we... Raiden has that the world. Now he has the world that never was hinted, showing that membership yeah. card. Yeah, so we'll start seeing all these racers start navigating towards the world that never was. Like, Man, now I'm you have all your torn pages hinted too. So I'm just shocked that Raiden didn't uh, didn't XP grind a little bit on screens. Hopefully it works out. Now you're Hopefully. at Roxas with just barely okay stats. Like, don't look at Duck Flare. That's not going to help you against Roxas. Okay, I think Zack does get the kill here. No, Zack, he could have gotten it! All he had to do was just go for a combo. Yeah. Was a time, bit of time. There we go. Yeah, playing it safe. That's good. So to note, like, we still have... A Thunder, a Torn Page, and a Fire, and all three of those are past Psyx. I mean, the one's page. on Psyx. So does Maybe. he stop? <laughs> I feel like you push. I don't know if you do Zemnis. You could argue that doing Zemnis might be okay for the like access to an XP grind spot. Yeah. If you are not gonna, if like if you don't get enough on screens, you can argue that maybe doing Zemnis is potentially okay. But I think you pick up the rest of the checks. I mean, that fire would be nice. It speeds things up. That thunder, also nice. Yeah, I d definitely think he's just gonna go push up through Zemnis here. Gives you that yeah, it's another spot, form. like you mentioned. Funny enough, as you did mention, you did get that torn page via Auto Master. Okay, he actually just opts to leave. Never mind. Oh, okay. Oh. I think he wanted. I think he went into that room expecting to be in final form so that he can refresh his drive, not knowing that ah. that room is where your party members freely walk around. Okay, Zach. Does he get hit? Should be fine to open the chest now. There's a thunder. I think Riku healed Zach. Clutch. Let's go, Riku. Riku the homie. Riku the homie. And a glide. Oh, <laughs> so now so that's where, where our last glide is. 
And there's a fire. And the fire. <laughs> Zach seems very happy with this world number one. He, he, Zach waving his hands, he just basically said, why not? So he will do Zemnis. A reminder, Zemnis is not a goal, or regular Zemnis, or data Zemnis. So he is just doing this, I think, potentially for the progression points, as well as maybe access to an alternative leveling spot when screens may not be enough. Yeah, I, especially because they didn't push Twilight Town at all. It makes sense just to have this open as a leveling spot. Mm -hmm. He will get his next world reveal, so that'll help him catch up. Reminder that he did fall behind a little bit. Didn't really rocks his quick run to attempt to catch up. And so far it's been paying off. Okay, Zach, being a little patient, opting to just take all the hits. One thing you want to be careful of if you are getting comboed is knowing if the combo will continually combo you or if you will eventually die from it by just being reset. Okay, so Zach just going to take the building. Okay. I think it's a bit fair. You could have attempted to glide over to one of the corners, try to thunder Zemnis as he goes over the railing. Once more, it was actually at, just at the bottom of core. That's super generous. I wonder if we'll see. Do we do core skip here? We do see oh. Raiden pushing into Zigbar here on the bottom right. With with Dewey's stats, we might just see him do core. Potentially. Oh, he gets the torn page. It's just a master three for him. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe he could do this. So I think the safe play is you go up to the Cephi and then do I want the pages? Then you do core. Right. That's one way to approach this. You can just do core skip yeah. to start with if you want. It's really about maximizing your time at certain points so trying to be as optimal as you can you have you you have Sefi prepped the world never was or sorry the other world never was you have Sefi already there so doing all of hollow bastion 2 normally and then saying okay do i want to do pages now is probably the safer play your stats are good too 50 strength 53 magic so you get a torn page right outside of the demix uh area Wow. Frustration site, so I believe, is the name. Zach must have some different stuff on because he's only at level 38 with 54 49. And base Sora. Yeah, it could just be a bunch of uh, accessory slots that he might have found. He did do all of core, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Nothing on this note. We can uh, we can swap over, see where some of our other racers are. Our four of our five asyncs. So in the top left we have, wow. Okay, so top left and bottom left we have Met and Slim respectively going into HB now. Roro is in OC. I believe this is yeah. This is uh, post OC two. He's going to to Zexion. Meanwhile, Spike, already done with Solar Sailor, gets a reflect off of Solar Sailor. So now we'll go straight to MCP and probably do Lark Scene if I had to guess. He might just prep Lark, get MCP done so he has Lark Scene prepped.
Okay, railroad done through Zexion. Gets a slide dash. It's pretty okay. I've pick up. Actually, something to know on the bottom right, Z uh, Spike does have all his goals marked off. So he is committing to skipping 100 acre at the moment. So he's just, he's in his go mode. He's gonna do all the goals that he has marked. Yeah, so I expect Spike here to just finish this off and then do Larxy and just start making your round through your goals. Well, we do see on Slim side he has done Larxene already. If we look at Roros, it looks like Larxene's hiding Valor form. That's funny. That's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, forms aren't required for these settings. Or, sorry, for this seed, not the settings. Oops. Wrong word. Wrong oh, word. Oh, wow. There's a drive gauge up on. MCP. That's actually super nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, well, yep. Spikes go diving right in. It looks like he's ready to just start taking things out. Wow, Trinity Limit and the Crystal Fisher. Uh, question from Chad. Where was Hori Slash? Hori Slash was in PR. So... If you do PR2, I believe, then you would have access to that. Oh, bro, bro. Oh, it <clears> takes a <throat> death. Oh, unfortunately. unfortunately for Roro. Larxane is definitely a tricky fight if you don't quite understand the clone manipulation or trying oh. to get the damage out of it, for sure. We see Spike easily get... Gonna do some pause ball. buffering, get out Duck Flare. And very finish nice. off Very nice! Very clean from Spike there. That clone manipulation <clears throat> working, working wonders right there. Roro also done with Larxene. We do have another world review uh, from Roro's End. Levels has the thunder. Sure. <laughs> That's somewhere. Like, it's it's deep, too. Yeah, I believe Slim only 50. recently got that. Yep. Slim's at level 42 now. With Honestly, those are pretty good stats. 56, 55. Now, again, yeah, unfortunately, those... you don't really have a good way to level aside from going into TT if you're Slim. You've already done screens. So... It's really just if you want to push yourself to get above the data floor for as base Sora, oh, then you have that. That swordsman was jumping over everything Slim was throwing. We see Roro finally going into the world that never was, so we'll be picking up that membership card. Oh, Roro. Oh my god, play with the fire oh. right there. <laughs> just stood god. right. Oh, he gets slashed. Oh, oh no. no. That's <laughs> so unfortunate. Swung and missed and paid the price. Let me see Spike going into GR2 here, and then we'll probably just immediately go back into Luxord. Yeah, Luxord is one of the few fights where stats really don't change anything. The RC does pretty much the same damage every time, so you can just do it at level 1. You'll actually see a few times that if you have easy Luxord access, people will do that pretty much right away in these settings just for the big bulk progression points from them. You get six points, I believe. So, it's yeah. uh, really solid. It's like almost an entire hint. <laughs> so, this late in the game, at least. Yeah, and if you, if you do a Luxord, like, super early into the seed, then he'll basically either give you a hint or two hints. Hey. Spike getting that nice second phase for GR2. And for oh, level 30. Row, row. Level 38, Spike's got some pretty good stats. Is that 51, 59 just in Master? Uh, 61. 59, yeah, it's, actually. Yeah, in final. Or in Master. So it's. Yeah. Stats you, you got some deep, yeah. You got some decent stats. Ooh, Spike, careful! 
I think he wanted to blizzard. Yeah, there we go. Hey. He's got it. <clears throat> He's a professional. It's fine. And another, another drive, drive gauge. gauge up. You can see he's pretty <laughs> happy about that. Visit. Yeah, you. What's up with these second visits? Having second visit bosses having drive gauge ups. Okay, I think yeah. Roro here is trying to go for the Roxas quick run. It's taken quite a few deaths, so I think he's opting to just uh, take the loss, not opt to take any more deaths and go for the easy kill. Uh, Tibbs, Hori Slash was in PR2. Got Roxas down, has now become a member and gotten his second reflex. It's always nice to be a member. Just makes you feel included. And yep, we uh we all kinda mention it, but Spike is on his already at Data Luxord. We do see the Halloween Town 2 push. That's actually interesting if you look at their levels. If you look at Slim and Mets levels, they're all that high, and they got that high without the XP boost. From uh, Experiment. This, yeah. Just going through, I'm guessing, TT3 Mansion. Now, I will say, I know for a fact they do not have an XP boost at all. Log via the other XP boost. I did. <laughs> I forgot where it was. Uh, since it will not matter, literally no racer will ever get it. And if they do get it, they're crazy because it's already hinted. Uh, it's an Agrabah. It's an Agrabah 2 in the Ruin Chamber. So, zero oh. reason to ever, ever go there. Absolutely no, yeah. zero reason. <laughs> Unless you really wanted Stitch, but I feel like that's. But uh, that Gross. really just goes to show that these guys just. Level grinded, committed, the XP curves are nice oh, enough, they're man. able to get this high. And that was without XP boost, so, like, we see Met now going for a tiny bit of an XP grind here, I think. As well as a tiny form grind, too. Spike had a nice, clean Luxord fight there. Very well done. Now he's on to Zex. No, he's gotta do no, He's OC2. gotta do OC2, but... We'll clean up OC2 relatively fast. Alright, Slim now done with Experiment. Let's get his XP boost. I wonder what they thought when they got that. 40 Depending on the order, level? it's uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. So level 48 has that thunder. But they're gonna go into this Vexen fight and just melt him. Look at these stats, man, for uh, for Met in the top left. In final, as Sora, you have 65 strength, 70 magic, pretty good. That's really good. Yeah, one thing to keep in mind is that some of these racers still might not have cheese access for certain fights. So, for example, Saix. Without cheese access, you kind of have to do the fight legit, and uh, the 
higher stats, the easier it is to do that fight, at least. Got Roro diving into core, finally. Picks up his once more. Sounds like an angry puppy. Very, very angry. Yeah. <laughs> very, very bold. <laughs> Got her Dez's attention to dog. <laughs> I feel that. All right. We will take a little time to swap over to some of our other racers. This should be fun. Yeah, no, it, it is not back. It, it's still circling. I, I promise. <laughs> oh, I know I it showed for, it showed for one little <laughs> second, but it immediately froze again. I had hope. Uh, reminder: Newton is recording this. Uh, maybe we'll convince him to upload his recording either to Twitch or to YouTube, whichever he likes, or somewhere, wherever. From the quick pause that I have on Nintendo still loading. Looks like they have done Sephiroth. Yeah, I can show it, actually. We, we can show that off. It is Unfortunately, it might go away soon. But he does have almost every page. He's going into regular Luxord for that page. He will get off of Sykes eventually. As you, as you mentioned, he did do Sephi. He does have it marked off. He doesn't have Vexen done. And I believe he doesn't have Larxene prepped either. But... We shall, um, we shall see slice. briefly. Yeah. We see Walpi has done Zexian, Vexen, and Larxene already, and is now getting through 1k to get ready for uh, that Sepi fight. So it definitely seems like a lot of these racers are opting to skip out on pages. Besides, I'm Probably only Zack. Yeah, Zack, I think Nintendo was going for pages because he's in the world never was. I, so, I believe he's at Saiyax right now. Okay. Roughly should be at Saiyax if I... My estimation of his uh, speed is there. So he will be going for pages as well. I think potentially BD is going for pages. He does have the page off of drives and there. You don't have any of the world never was, so maybe not. Yeah, I'm missing oh, that actually, one. Yeah, actually, And I'll hope. Like, he's, I, BD is in essentially go mode now as well. Yeah. Just needs to get to Sefi. He's probably not doing 100 acre. <clears throat> probably no. not. Yeah, because he, he left after, pretty much right after Roxas. Looks like. I got the reflect, and he's like, you know what? I'm good. Yeah, Ragnoth actually... Just clearing his goals, opening chests on the way, hoping to see if there's anything uh, of interest. That once more definitely is super nice to get, so if he does find it, he'll be happy. It is at the bottom, of course, so we'll see if he checks that. Or, sorry, one of the ch chests at the bottom of the first room of core. Yeah, I, th I think it was the very first chest at the bottom of core. Mm, I think so. I just know it was yeah, on the ground floor. Is yeah, Ragnoth is in his go mode at least, so he's just gonna commit to these pushes. Has got a good tools, has Magnega, so your Final Fantasy fights in 1k is gonna be super, super quick. Oh, yeah. You go, you haven't done any of PR2, but, I mean, it's a fairly short visit. You can literally skip every chest, because you know, you don't know what's there, you'll probably get it hinted soon. He does at least also have for Flara. So, Seth, if he does Sephi right away, Sephi will just melt. Like, look at his stats, actually. He's level 64. 63, 65. 63, 60, I think that's 66, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's 66. In that's, case, uh... Sora. That's, uh, pretty good. That's... Yeah, it looks like the Mysterious Abyss is a 7-7 seven, seven jackpot, which a lot of these racers have been using, from what I've seen. So no one can complain about this seed. Like, some They're other seeds where it's, uh, level... Yeah, they'll find a way. They'll find a way. To <laughs> Everybody finds a way to complain. 
Oh, why was it only a... on Roxas? <laughs> Roxas paid out, dude. He cashed out. Roxas, he did. He, Roxas was pretty good. Also recorded. Yeah, his, his ground loot was great. Oh, BD almost went right in, but saved himself. Like, see? Why, why couldn't, couldn't he get a <laughs> <Yes>, My god. <laughs> You mean the membership? Okay, the membership card on Zemnis or the reflect on Zemnis? If you can only pick one. Reflect. No, 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 no. no you can't say both, Ragna. Oh, I said only one. If you can only pick one. Searching for his beast claw and finds it. Yeah. I feel like maybe you take a bit of time to XP grind potentially. Yeah, he's gonna try to get hit by the dragon. Never mind, I don't know where he's going. <laughs> he's going I think he forgot chest. where the chest was. <laughs> he might have confused it with <laughs> STT. Oh man, I missed that. There was Trinity and Crystal Fisher too. Yep. Yeah. So Seppi yeah, is was... actually just gone. <laughs> Sefi's Sefi's easy money. You got limit form. You got Trinity. You got Reflera. Like golden. Popping limit form to get MP back. Okay, Walpy is leveling a little bit down here. Nice. I wonder how high Walpy will try to go. Yeah, it's, it's pretty okay stats right now. Obviously, the more strength you'll get, the better your... Data Zaldan will be. I know Walpi right. has had a bit of struggles with that fight in the past. We'll see if... Okay, he's just gonna commit to these levels. Oh, actually, I feel... Oh, I, th I think his final key just sucks. His strength went to 63 in final. So if he just swaps keys, he's actually in a really, really amazing spot. Yeah. Reminder again that the stats will be nice, especially because for some people you'll have to do cheeseless data science. And depending on your familiarity with that fight, it's either good or it goes really bad. Or you get damaged. Oh, DM that's gonna times. work out. It's gonna work out really well for Zach and Ninten going for pages then, since Pan is on. Oh, this is an Sorry. interesting choice here from the bottom left. BD is actually doing core fights, so. I think this is a sign he might be sacking one of the goals he has marked, and he's just too busy playing to, like, unmark it. Because yeah, not... you kind of don't really have a reason to do core, unless you're looking for pages. So I think he is changing his mind, potentially. He might sack Syx. Oh, what's really interesting is he didn't open the two chests in front of the data demix door. He just went straight to, oh. to uh, oh. demix or story demix and yeah. the rest of Final Fantasy fights. So, yeah, I didn't get that one torn page. Yeah, hopefully he realizes that he missed those two chests on his way out. Again, it's fine to get them later because you still, in theory, you still would have got core anyway. But uh, he, he should get them eventually, right? Yeah. He okay, gets the one page here. Now, unfortunately, because he didn't open those two chests, 
He will be doing the second fight, of course, we will at least sometime. Okay, Ragnoth on his way to Sefi. Can I Let's watch see this how man. this no. goes? Oh, you got explosion too, that's right. Yeah, this man's just melting. Explosion does like a whole bar oh. and some. Yeah, it really does. Uh, really nice when you have a hive magic stat like that. 65, 65 68. That's insane. That's really, really good. And he's already at final phase. Very wow. Nice. Yeah. He's just gonna melt. Straight oh, into Ragnarok. Unfortunate. Oh. Strike Nope. Just gonna Trying to be very careful. This should kill. Very nice. Oh, yeah, that should. Very clean Sefi fight from Ragnar there. And yet again, the last world to get hinted is STT, that has your last fire. And a money pouch. It's gotta have money. Maybe it's vanilla. It could be vanilla. <laughs> That'd be, <laughs> That'd be I great. will say we are seeing uh, some uh, some people sell their house right now. Ragnoth currently. That lack of money pouch. The fact that it's in both LOD, LOD. and <laughs> STT does kind of suck. And yeah, there's BD getting the torn page from the two chests here. Super unlucky. And on his way to Sephiroth. Well, be just getting, getting, getting close to GR two. So he has Data Luxor prepped. I think he's got. Then he just has to do Pride Lands. It looks like. Yeah, I don't. I don't foresee them ever leveling Master to get that last page. No, I'm sure he's fully committed. Like, he's done Piglet and has not gone back, has not even looked for other torn pages. Wolpy, I feel, is committing fully to skipping our young Pooh Bear. Yeah, I'm curious what BD is skipping now. So, what is he BD. not? He hasn't done any of OC, so he hasn't even bought the... Was it Battlefields of War? So I think that's what he's essentially skipping. Interesting choice, skipping an AS fight, but with the page placement, I think it's a little bit fair. They were in pretty okay spots. Yeah. I think the time investment to do the Wonder Boys up to Saix definitely is faster than going all the way to Zexion. So here's the question, then, Geek: Is doing that and then the so, mini games themselves. Uh, mini games themselves plus Psyx, is that quicker than doing OC? So, I feel like potentially, but also the big takeaway is that you have access to Pan. That that Pan alone might just be like the big thing that pushes BD of, hey, I can now do an easy day to Psyx, even though I can probably already do the fight fine with my stats. I just now have yeah. access to a cheese strat. Now, we'll see if wow, he actually does that, but that is like something 70. that can run through people's minds. Uh, uh, Tibbs, uh, Zach will be doing 100 Acre. He is the only one plus Ninten, but Ninten stream is down. Those are the only two that are doing 100 Acre wood. Yeah, so th out of these nine racers, I believe, uh, I don't think I showed it, but I believe Roro is also doing pages as well. So four of the eight racers are doing them, or sorry, four of 12 racers are doing 100 12. Acre as their gold. The glory of Hitlist. Ooh. Ooh. Won't be out of magic now. Oh, you missed one! <laughs> okay, hopefully... Wow, GR2 oh, just okay. sat there. Wow, wow GR2... Just said, sorry, man. 
<laughs> Let me open up that for you. Alright, All right, since we are coming a bit towards the end of things, since some bracers are catching up, let's uh, quickly swap over to mm. our Excuse other me. racers we haven't shown off in a bit. Bring back our boy Zach. Yeah, pardon the freeze frames on these guys. Alright, so Zach has done all of 100 Acre, did get pan off the start. He's not on the screen. Ah, thank you. There we go, Zach on ground shaker, so we'll just go do pan. Zach still needs to do Cephi, still needs to go do all of SP, unless he's sacking SP. In which case he needs- well, actually no, yeah. This is a very interesting position. He hasn't done any of OC, any of SP, which is- it's in fine. Like, the- the checks that are there aren't really that important, necessarily, for the goals he's been doing. No, so he might just- just zoom through and not care. Like, yeah. Maybe check SP for Reflect. Which yeah, that was. I think you check. What, no, he, he, he's he's still got to do SP because he has not gone back into. Yeah, so uh, he's uh, skipping Zaldin. He's skipping so. Zaldin. He's 100 percent committed on that. Yeah, so I'm just saying he might skip chests. Oh but yeah, you, you instead could... of SP just to get that second reflect. Uh, I don't know. But I then... feel like you don't skip chests in SP, especially just because of like where they're located. They're in really okay spots. For, yeah. like, now OC chests, I feel like a thousand percent a thousand percent skips those. <laughs> oh yeah, you, yeah, you have no reason. No reason. I don't think he cares that. about a blizzard or a proof of peace. Well, that, that, that the yeah. chest is just a bad location. Yeah. Yep, he's on to Syx. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that some racers may have a faster time with this fight just because of the fact that they might just be better statted. But Panshee's still still solid strat. Again, you're just already there. Oh, actually, Raiden, also doing 100 Acre. We'll be going, getting Pan oh, fairly man. soon here, too. And there's that air combo plus getting that double air, aerial spiral. Yeah. yeah, if you are trying so to be a little is... bit inventive for the Psyx fight, one thing you can opt to do is you can try to start in final form. Do a little bit of uh, final fires and then go into pan a little oh, bit man. before pan the is meter. on yeet too. Even better. All right, let's let's judge them on their yeet here. Always. Oh. Sub. Oh god, it's awful. Oh, Terrible. It's awful. Get him out of here. Get <laughs> him <laughs> back. Get him out of here. Get him see. out. Uh, you 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 lost your ability to be seen. They do. Apparently, they do have double negative. Oh. Where was that other negative? Can, uh, we can take a peek, I think. Might be in an easy spot. Uh, Spooky Cave, actually. Oh, oh! That's interesting. So... Maybe... Mm. Maybe Spike... Or not Spike. Maybe Zach just didn't want to do it. Now, I've heard various discussions, and I still don't know personally. Sometimes, I believe, double negative combo is actually slower than Pam for Sonic. If I'm not mistaken. So... I, I don't know the validity of those statements because I always forget to check that. I think Met can verify. He is home and safe now. Yeah, welcome home, Met. Uh, yes, Met, Met, give us the inside. What's fast? Yeah, we have that now. important question for you now. Is double negative faster or pan faster for data science? Because I, I personally always forget. Pan Shirley? Okay, he doesn't also know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just don't have the information. I feel I feel like it just depends on your stats. Like, Because finishers like, do a lot yeah. more. I feel like if the you're multi above the floor, <laughs> then it's faster for sure. I don't know. Yeah, spiral. Oh, wait, they have cheese strats. Yeah, cheese strats. Yeah. Yay, cheese strats. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna use because I'm still not comfortable. Yeah, why, why do why do fights normally? We can just cheese. 
it's over. It's not over. It's not Jover. It's not Jover, man. You're going strong. I mean, you, you're, you've been playing while you're on a night bus. So you, you're going great. Alright, now, I will say, I think, based off the pacing of these guys, I actually will we'll do a little bit of a funny swap overs. So we have, uh, we'll show off a Ragnoth. Let me put him back on in just a moment. Wow, Spike is gone. Oh, Slim's just got Data Luxor left, it looks like. Oh no, he's yep. got him prepped. No, yeah. I'm gonna look bad. Oh no, wow. He, Slim just has to do Data Luxor, <clears throat> and that will be it. In the top left is uh, Met. Met still has to do Data Psyx as well as Data Luxor. Ragnoth prepping Data Psyx, and still has to do Data Zaldin at some point, but these, uh, these are it. He still has to get through BC2, which is quick, thankfully. Imagine that, the Asyncs. The okay, Asyncs are ahead. Yeah, the Asyncs are... they're wilding out. <laughs> wow. That is you, Met, and you're and you running away from the explosion. Dark, he's just taken after me and all the asyncs I've done. Shoutouts to Met for not using Master Form here. Shoutouts. Who needs Master Form? You wanna, you wanna talk about there it? it is. Yeah, a little late. Sure. No, I think his part was his party member dead. I actually wasn't paying attention. I had no idea. I was yeah, I I'm done. Yeah. We're not on. Cool, cool. Knows. Okay, I completely dismissed the fact that his party members <laughs> were alive or dead. It's Donald's there, so of course he's dead. Don was dead? Okay, cool. <laughs> I wasn't sure, but I'm like, no one does these kinds of things unless they're dead. So, there's a good reason. <laughs> like on his way to Data Zaldin, and then just has to get through Scar, Peel 2, and Science. Yeah. Look at that beautiful master form from Slim. Beautifully executed. Party members totally alive the whole time. Oh, never mind. He he's the blizzard. Oh, oh he gets it just in time. Wow. So he should be good. Into the duck player. Oh, he has Berserk Hori too. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Troll there to spike, putting up the the wind guard four times. Wind god me. Yeah, Spike does know how the fight works pretty pretty well in depth. So just waiting out the RV to drop, letting him just windshield over and over, and trying to do a parry on the lance attack later. Oh, okay. It's like, is he gonna be able to get? Some, uh oh, is he dead? No, no, he's oh, fine. Oh, he's not. Ooh, okay, so there's a the mega. Head. Okay. The mega elixir is good pause buffer to make sure you got all that. Spike just wanted to keep it interesting. Just gonna keep yeah. this loop of the jumps into the mega duck flare. Put out as much damage as they can. Right back into the jumps. There we go. I have to pop another one here. Oh. Over it. Oh. All right, so that is Met done at the DM phase, actually, the final mini game. Oh, Slim almost also. dropped it. Spike also getting DM'd here. Yeah. Ooh, and the duck is down. Oh, oh no! it takes a death. Did Ariel cover? 
Spike does not have one small. He did not go yep. in the corner. So, uh, bottom of quarter, <laughs> by the way. Literally in that first room, by the way. The face. <laughs> Ooh, Slim. Oh, okay. Slim, don't do this. Don't, don't do oh, this. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, he's trying. He unfortunately couldn't get it set up because <laughs> Luxord was grounded. Okay, he sh might be able to get this. Okay, there he is getting right. the height. Oh, oh no. don't die. Okay, does panic oh, oh, limit form just in time? We got Ragnoth in the top right doing the legit Psyx fight. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Oh, it takes a death. Oh, oh no. I'm not going to say a thing again. Fortunately, they also do not have one more. Okay, so Slim now in the bottom left here is in DM phase, technically. If he does drop this, he will get minigamed. He's going to try to skip oh, the rest of this. Oh. Does he get this? I think he... Ooh, that's so close. Does... Berserk drop. It might. Oh, it's gonna drop. Oh no! He can't make it up. Yeah. Once ah, he falls out, you're kind of screwed. So you gotta take the DM. Yeah, that sucks. But I think even regardless, I think that uh, I think still might make Slim our first acing finish, our first finish yeah. overall. Oh. This is literally his last goal, unless he messes up. It the is. Game here. Unless he just marked something, but... That's why I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> we might, unless this, this minigame goes bad. Yeah, looking around, I don't see anybody else with no, he's good. nearly enough Yeah, goals. he's I'm got it. Ether. <laughs> and, <laughs> ether. and that is GG's to Slim. Congrats. First finish. Right. First finish overall. What a What a strong performance. In the top right here, we have Roro. Roro? Roro. -ro. Not Roro, -ro, sorry. Uh, Ragnoth. Thinking the wrong R, my bet. <laughs> How many people with R? We got Ragna, Ragnoth, Roro. Too many R's. A very clean Psyx for Ragnar. I did not see what happened to oh. on that second attempt there. Oh, Ninten just finished. Wow. Very solid. Ninten. 133.56. So doesn't snipe Slim, but does get a solid second place. Wow. Super wow. close. <laughs> So now Man. we're down to two slots left. <laughs> All right, everyone. Peer pressure Ninten into uploading his uh, his run. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just tell the yeah. man, please upload it. Thanks in advance. Okay, thanks. Bye. All right. Let me just get someone on stream. This is CJ. I believe this is regular Luxor. Oh, I think this is Data. Maybe. This, it's hey, hard this, to tell. This is Data. Oh, CJ has not gone into the world that never was, though. Can she, uh, she is hard gambling that you, that you don't need to do that right away, which is fine. It's, it's working out. Like, you actually kind of really don't need to do that. Oh, yeah, this is data. Okay, absolutely right. Looking around, nobody else is really close to finishing other than Ragnoth and Spike, right? And the pressure's on because that, that is two slots left. Hopefully, Spike can get the Zald in here. In DM phase now. Zipping around. Uh... Is Wall be close? We can, uh, we can see. I think he's uh, a little bit off. He's a little off. He's he's got two goals. We can I'll, I'll swap in uh, Walpy for our bottom left racer. 
Bring in my boy. Yeah, so he has Data Zaldin left and Data Syx, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. And... So it has ground. Sh he has them both prepped, so just has to do them. So I mean, he's he he could still bring this back if Zaldin keeps being rude to Spike. He does have kind of that loadless of um, a minute twenty. Yeah, so I'm fi finally going for the jumps and putting up his wind guard. Ooh, that is a good point from Tibbs. Spike has yet to do scar. Oh god. Donald did die, so he can't go into the duck flare. So he's gonna get DM'd again. Ooh, Ragnarok gets jumps. Amazing. Oh my god, look at that damage. Oh, <laughs> That's basically god. half a bar with every jump. Oh <laughs> no. Spike, no. no. Oh. Spike oh. taking another death. That's really unfortunate. Come on, Zaldin, give Ragnar the jump. Ah, DM immediately. He's a jerk. Man, I feel. Man, poor Spike. He's been yeah, so close anything, a lot. Yeah, he's been down to like learned. three bars. Reminder that he's technically doing level one physical damage. He's at fi only 58 strength as Basora, so it's definitely a, see, kind of an uphill battle, for sure. It is. Let's go Ragnoth. Ragnoth knows the hover strat. Oh, this should be... That's right. Okay. And that yeah, is GG's for Ragnoth. For Ragnoth. So that will be our next finisher. So we have we got one Slim, slot. Oh man, Ninten and now Ragnoff. And I don't think anyone is coming in close. No. Very briefly, I'll just swap in someone for Ragnoff right now. Let's we'll see where Zach's at. Zach is currently going into OC, just at Hades right now. First. Okay. Is. Yeah, so if we're going over goals remaining, yeah, he still has to do all of OC1. Opie, why do you keep using Cure? I don't know. <laughs> uh, is it to get so Donald up? Zach is in a pretty okay spot, honestly. DD also has one goal left being a Data Zaldi. They are on their way there right now. Oh man, this is gonna be so close. Damn, I'll be getting a DM phase. And we will give a, a bit of a refresh. And then I will unfortunately swap out Spike for one of our oh, other oh, racers. The la Spike just over there laughing. Definitely. Yeah, you you gotta feel bad for Spike. Mm -hmm. Had had the fight basically won three times and just got clipped in the DM. Oh. Yeah, we saw yeah, that going to master. I will clarify, Zach is on his way to the urns minigame so he's got quite a bit of a trek to go even if he skips all the chests oh, still got man. quite a bit of length of uh the seed yeah you got still got uh hydra you have demix 80s two. yeah you got a you got a long way to go if you're that this is close think. man this is now close now between bd actually and met yeah it is because they're both at their last fights Oh, Met does get the Mega Duck Flare off. Okay. Oh, we couldn't get a finisher? I, okay, oh, I think he was trying to figure died. out what to do there. And we're getting a DM. Yeah, he's going to try to go for the glide <laughs> spot. Oh, no, he's too low. 
Hopefully he doesn't die here. Real scary. Oh, it's clipped. Okay, okay. Brought it back. Brought it back. Party members down. Unfortunate. Gets final. Okay. And BD's getting some jumps now. Oh, it's only grabbing four. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I feel bad about how I posted this. Oh, no. Dang. So that is GG to Matt. And GG's to BD. BD, actually, oh, unfortunately oh. for BD, just like they finish real time. They finish essentially at the same time real time, but just falls a little bit short loadless. They're off by about, what is it, 32 seconds, 34 seconds? <clears throat> oh, man. Seconds. Oh, oh, I don't think Walpy's going to be able to. No, he's already passed. Walpy's so close to getting that DM as well from Syx. Yeah, here's Zach. Zach definitely passed the minute mark, 144.35. Yeah. And uh, I believe Dewey in our top right slot also passed that time as well. It just has to do Sefi. Still very close with all of these. What a what a race for these guys! Wow. <laughs> Met, it's okay. I uh, bet you gotta believe. Okay, well, if you get into duck, <laughs> mega duck flare, not gonna kill though. No, but you can go right into. Oh, he's going. Oh, he's one. a little late. Oh, oh if oh. he didn't go for that other thunder, he would have gotten it because he would have had enough time to menu to the mega duck flare. Super close attempt there. Oh, okay. So, how's, how's so it I need to go for. Yeah, okay, so now it's dead. Also, go for a pause buffer to get that Mega Duck player, but I'm gonna clean this fight up regardless. Unless something unfortunate happens here. No, it looks like he's got it. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, that is GGs Dewey. To Walby. GGs, GGs to Dewey and. Walpy, wow. Do oh wow. Do we hit the immediate then stream? Yeah, I, I feel that. There's Walpy. Yeah, there's there's Walpy just looked at race time. Oh man. Alright, let me see if I can uh refresh names here just so we can all uh, have people to to watch. <laughs> It's a fair statement from Wolpe. <laughs> oh, the poor man. He's been grinding Hitless so hard, too. Yeah, unfortunately, this morning they were doing a seed, and honestly, what even admitted themselves, they weren't playing the best. And uh, maybe that got to him here in this seed. Nah, I will, like... Walpy played really well. No, d definitely everybody played well for this seed. I think the only downside to the seed comes from Zach's perspective, where he wasn't auto tracking right away, but made that up with the the blind uh, woman ever was. It looks like Raiden is... Raiden has... Oh... Yep. R Raiden is doing Raiden things and has not touched Pride Lands besides the first three. Alright, a bit of a... Oh. a tiny bit of a time warp here. Oh, Spike. There we go. That should be good now. Oh, never mind. I lied. Oh, and, Bless OBS oh, Studio and... for being a little glitchy. Yeah. And this this Zaldin is just giving Spike the oh, worst is... troubles. 
Oh, well, we're also like four minutes in the past. Yeah, something went wrong with the recording at some point, so uh, things got a little messed up. I can try to adjust it real quick, but he does get the kill, so okay. he does make it past. That's something I thought I would see. Final form Olet staring down Tigger's Tigger. almond. <laughs> Mods do wonderful things for this game. Oh, <laughs> for sure. Well, I think my computer would explode if I put any more on, like... Uh, listen, right. if Danimal can have, like, 70 mods in this game, I think you're, I think you're fine. Uh, I don't know, man. I already have enough with Elden Ring as is. <laughs> the box of death's cost. Oh, Walpy. Yeah, I'm it's okay. Just having in Walpy instead of CJ for now. Walpy. You mean Roro? Roro, sorry, yeah, Roro. Yeah, they're basically the same the person. Jeez, oh, okay. I'm, wow, that's, uh, that's okay. a little out I don't there. know about that. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't say it. <laughs> nope, Jesus did. I'll take full credit for it. All right, we Man, this see is Zach, Zach on his last goal. Yep, finishing up Data Zex in here. Or er, not Data Zex, after Silhouette. They don't have to do the Datas. No, yeah, definitely do not. So, Zach... Zach will be finishing up here soon. Just gonna final fire and we'll be dead right there. And done. So yeah. GG's to Zach. Like GG's. 149. Alright, giving a tiny refresh to these guys. Well, see, Raiden has gone offline. Uh oh. Are they, are they. I haven't seen DNF yet. That's interesting. Uh. Oh, no. What? Yeah, they were just there for a second. Um, yeah. Maybe they're not marked out. Maybe they meant to DNF. Or maybe their internet died. Nope, they're just completely offline. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll see if they come back in a moment then. Uh, there's a chance that a stream might have crashed, potentially. <laughs> oh. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully that's not the case, yeah. right? Because well, you probably can't see it. Did Banjo switch the breaker? <laughs> Your wife went and switched the breaker? No, Dang. no. Not for the enemy. I've only ever asked Banjo to switch your breaker. Spike is now Ooh. through Scar. Okay, CJ does take... A DNF here, I think. Maybe she's getting a little fed up with the internet potentially, as well as just like this. They already know the seed's done. Oh, yeah. But yeah, they do DNF. Fortunately, nothing uh, nothing from Raiden. I haven't seen anything from Raiden, so a little. interesting. Nope. Oh. CJ apparently unforfeited. Michaels. I I don't blame Spike <laughs> for looking so sad after all those Alden deaths at very yeah. unfortunate times. Yeah, after uh, after Spike went through or actually got the kill on Zaldan, you, you his facial expression said it all. He was just like, oh my god, really? Yeah, though he was he actually if he had gotten those fights either first or second try, he actually would have probably qualified. Yeah. yeah. Oh he definitely would have. I think his first attempt he got Zalda down to like one bar. He he was like, like all all of his good, deaths were like super late. It would have been like a good mega like one ground combo would have honestly gotten spiked there. Yeah, I'll, yeah, like I said, all of his deaths were like under three bars, so super late into the fight. The first one I think was his closest one to just beating it first try. 
Erdez, that's the one thing about Spy, like, he, his, he'll commentate no matter what. And that's, it's honestly a beautiful thing to see from him. Because you, you learn a lot even during his streams. Like, he, he, he just, he will talk about everything he's doing so you understand and you can learn from it too. Oh yeah, it, definitely. If you're wanting to like learn about Hitlist, because Hitlist is like Spike's baby. That is what he enjoys doing. Yeah, is his baby. Just, just, just watching his streams. Like he'll give you his entire thought process throughout the entire thing. So Spike yeah. is definitely one of the best streamers for Hitlist because he'll just give you every every bit of knowledge that you would need, and he'll explain the fights while he's doing it too. Yeah, CJ, CJ does finally DNF. I, I think okay. so. <laughs> okay, Ra Raiden, I don't think, realized his net went offline. Just types an O. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, 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 that did happen to me during the uh, qualifiers where my stream went offline, and I looked over and was like, oh, wait, I'm offline. Let me fix that. <laughs> yeah, Raiden actually still has a couple goals left to do. Yeah, honestly, Raiden's really behind on goals, so I'm not sure what happened to them. He did not go into Pride Lands. <laughs> no, they shotgunned it, but that was literally it because of the bonus. They literally grabbed right the first there. three chests and was out. Like, yeah, thank you so hard, they, CJ. Much appreciated. Yeah, honestly, right, but I, I, don't, I don't blame them. No, I, I don't blame Raiden for skipping Pride Lands. That's generally what they do. I'm just surprised that they're this far behind on goals. They only have two deaths, so I'm not sure why they fell so far behind. It, what's that symbol on Raiden's LOD? Uh, that is... What is it? Uh, Summit. Actually, not Summit. Um, Cave Fight. So, they actually okay. did they do LOD up to Cave Fight. Searching for, I think, for baby money pouch. <laughs> or I mean, just doing it because it's lotters. And uh, it's, it's what Raiden's known for. It, I'll let Raiden lotters. talk for himself. I'll, I'll let him talk for himself later. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll find out the mentality behind that. If it was just lotters or... I'm not sure if they did it... I th no, pri or LOD was hinted relatively early, wasn't it? Like, maybe like a mid... Mid-ish uh, reveal. Yeah, it was, it was a little later on. All right, Roro now done with Data Zaldin. So I did. Oh no, the regular Zaldin, regular Zaldin. Re regular Zaldin. They still have. Yeah, still have names. Dude. Dude. Misspoke. Like unfortunately having Berserk on. Not sure if it's gonna come back to hurt him here. Just trying so, to out Berserk the Berserk. Ooh, the spike not having that many items left. They said a few ethers and a potion. Looks like he is trying to berserk Hori. Yeah, unfortunately, does get clipped there through the, the DM. Max's DM is so rough. Zach had nine anti forms. Oh, that's that's rough. Mm, that hurts. And with that, Raiden through Sephi. Just needs to do Zaldin. 
Yeah. And the final data for the final goal for Raiden. Yeah, all, all three of these racers on their final one. Ooh, I've been uh, just told some uh, funny, insightful info. It doesn't really impact anything. But uh, Ninten apparently actually tied Slim in terms of uh, loadless. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, unfortunately, that does not change seating. Literally, the bracket is uh, finalized for this week, or for the mm -hmm. the hitless top eight. But that is a that's interesting, though. <laughs> yeah, that's not something you really see. I wonder how. Yeah, I did ask Ninten to see if he will upload the his uh, perspective to Spy. Twitch directly versus YouTube. So that way, for those interested, some of y'all can uh, watch perspective. We can even see the actual time difference, but uh, that is something to keep an eye out, keep an eye out on if you're interested in uh, peeking. Uh, unfortunately, Spike here is having having a rough couple of last day, last two data is just not going his way. I will say, if Spike had just gone, obviously this is hindsight, but if Spike had just gone into core, shotgunned it, and found that once more, I think they definitely would have finished within like the past twenty minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, like, at the very worst, would not have been. Yeah, they, they definitely would have been done if they, like you said, just just got that once more. First, is three chests. Something to know. Isn't Spike still doing level one damage here too? With strength, um, let's see, is he? Mm. Uh, no, well, he's barely above the floor. Bare barely above it. For strength, uh, he's barely much. above the floor. Still super rough, though, yeah. Baby fire and also not helping either. Here we go. Oh. Oh, death. Okay, let's see what Raiden gets here. Oh, gets a DM immediately. <laughs> Unfortunate. Zaldin has not been the kindest person throughout this seed for all of these racers. Yeah, no, I feel Zaldin like just the whole tournament. Yeah, yeah Zaldin <laughs> is just taking names. Actually, this whole year, Zaldin was kind of mean to a lot of people in League, so oh, he's, uh, he's still around, being a jerk. <laughs> Getting DM there. Should see Ro able to... I gotta win. Out of mag, out of magic, and they can't seem to get an item placed. No, not with him zipping around like this. Forge is just gonna have to wait this out till they get their MP back. You know, thank you for the raid, Zach. GGs. GGs, Zach. Yeah. GGs. Oh, into a DM phase for Ruro. And there we go. That's GG's for Raiden. Yep, Raiden finishes up that fight. Don't think they took a death on Zaldin. I don't believe so. Yeah, seemed a pretty solid fight overall. <laughs> right, now. As you say it gonna, <laughs> gonna go do gonna go do Psyx for the content. Oh my god. Alright, now we got our our final two of the final masters relegation, and that will be GG's for Roro. Does GG's get the kill. GG's. Now uh oops, wrong one. We got Ooh, left is Give support for for Spike on his finish out of this. Just gonna 
gonna duck flare through most of this. Take the invuln. Oh, he's so close. Look at his health bar. Oh my god, he's so close. Oh, don't die! Don't die! Don't die! Oh, he gets berserked again. Oh no. And he's at 1 HP. I. Yeah, this get... is super spooky. Oh. And gets cliffed. You can, see, you can just see it's it's taking the toll on him. But he's <laughs> with a smile on his face still, so... I think Spike, Spike is definitely one of those racers where even though things aren't going their way, they don't generally let it get to them too much. But, and that's definitely a good mentality to have. Very. And does he get it this time? Does he get a lot of solid damage? It was very solid damage between Final Fire and the Mega Duck Flare. Alright. We'll get immediately DM'd here, unfortunately. See Pretty much gonna happen every this. time. Yep. Now, one thing to note is that there is a spot you can camp in this room. You'll see a lot of people often go for it. There's a spot in the top right corner that Sykes just can never get to. And it doesn't seem like a spike. Um, it doesn't seem like he immediately knows that that spot's available. is just not going spikes the end hopefully you can live through this get unfortunately is just getting clipped Oh, uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you can see the frustration. I can, look, come on, I believe in Spike look, on this one. We, we've, this. All, we've all been there. It should be some solid damage. Zach, you're not supposed to spoil the fact that I already posted the finish time. <laughs> now, now the joke is ruined. It's over. <laughs> What'd you have to okay, do? Okay, no, no one look at race time and don't look at this at all. Totally don't. Oh wow, how do you- I'm surprised he didn't go for that that time. Okay, should be fine, land reflect. For some Ooh. pause buffers to get the final off, so gonna get some good damage in here and then immediately pop into another Mega Duck Flare. Yeah, I'm not sure if this kills. It'll be close. I think he's gonna have like a bar and a half. It'll be 
It'll oh, be close we got for like sure. More than that, two bars and a half. Oh wow! Oh, God. oh he's alive. Man. Okay, that's all that matters. Those stats are just really, really hurting for the damage. Okay, gets the blizzard off in time. You can do a blizzard or a thunder. Any attack really would uh, work. Some people like to do thunders more likely, just because they're like immediate. Okay, should be good. Gets the reflect. We'll do a cup one combo, and, and there should, should be a death. It. Yeah. Yep. All right, and GG. There we go. GG spike. spike. Congrats on finishing in this uh, final relegations. And now on that note. You have a bracket. bracket. You got Ooh. a. Oh god! Boy, this is a. This <laughs> VG is a and Ninten again. This is a bracket. Oh, oh my no. god! Ragno Ragnoth. Oh my god! This is a bracket. Oh yeah. <laughs> the rag on rag violence. <laughs> they played the the before. Rags. Battle the rags. Uh, <laughs> or yeah, as X says, the ragon, the rag, the ragon bros. <laughs> Yeah, Sonic, uh, Sonic and Met. versus Met, another showdown of these guys, and then Jaylon and Slim, they get to play. So this, uh, this should be an exciting bracket. Reminder That's that all these guys have now auto-qualified for final bracket, so that should be exciting to see. Seeding will be completely different, it'll be based on results of all the formats, all the relegations, all the open qualifiers, including the this week as well, but... This is your this is your hit list, King of the Hit List, top eight. And that should be exciting to see. Wow, what a what a bracket. <laughs> <laughs>